What up, Long Beach? Welcome back to your home for everything local sports. It's JJ. This highlight video is brought to you by Naples Rib Company, the perfect place to cater your team's next event. One last more league baseball party at Blair Field on Wednesday for the regular season finale, Milliken and Lakewood. Rams need a win for their first outright league title since 2009, but Wilson's in the stands rooting for Lakewood. Can you believe it? Because if Lancers and starter Matt Fields can beat Milliken and ace Mike Colleen, Wilson will share the title with the Rams. Stolen bases the storyline early as Christian Valdez with some grand larceny here in the second inning with nobody out. He gets bunted over to third and then with one out, Mason Don't Call Me Manny Mota delivers the RBI single to put Lakewood up 1-0 at the end of the second inning. Two walks puts two runners on with nobody out for the Rams in the third inning, but Chris Gann's going to meet you at the hot corner and he's going to get it down there for the double play. Yes, he Gann. Rabbit's still out there with Greenfield and it's a B and e dude. Easily swipes the bag, still two outs. He is imploring his fellow senior Diego Alarcon to get him home and with the hot shot off Fields gloves, not gonna be able to find the handle behind second base. So green fields and pastures all the way around to tie it 1-1, end of the third. Pitchers took over from there. Fields pitches four strong innings and then Brian Sandoval comes in to toss five scoreless innings for Lakewood. Meanwhile, Rams and shortstop Spencer Steer making the hard plays look easy behind Colleen. Defense does win championships, but this one's going to be won in extra innings. After a leadoff single in the eighth, Colleen is replaced by Steer after stranding eight runners. Quite the number two pitcher to bring in, but Fields is going to give him a rude awakening with a bloop single to left. So there, now there's two on with nobody out. Wilson is starting to feel it. After an intentional walk, the bases are loaded with one out. Moda is up there, but watch David Rivera at third base. It's a suicide squeeze. Moda can't get the contact and the juice ain't worth the squeeze. The out is recorded by Cervantes. Lancers overcooked that one. Moto was up there and he already had two hits on the night and basically had the at-bat taken away from him. Steer makes it stick with the K and the Rams have to feel like they've been given a second life. They're not going to waste it. We go to the 10th inning. Rivera into pitch after a leadoff single to Griffin Keller and then trying to bunt him over. But Rivera's off the bump and got him. Lancers turned up about it, but not out of the proverbial woods yet. This wild pitch moves Trevor Steer into scoring position, and then after a base on balls, Greenfield goes the other way to load the bases. Still just one out. Bases chucked. Alarcon up there to the left side. It's bobbled, and the runners are going to be safe. Milliken takes the 2-1 lead as Trevor Steer comes in to celebrate. Steer brothers not done. Spencer with a blast to left field, but Valdez has a beat on it. And he makes the catch. Unbelievable. Cervantes goes back to make sure he tags up, but Greenfield isn't going to get back to second in time. The score does count before the third out. I don't know. Phenomenal catch by Valdez. Unfortunately, a footnote because despite Spud O'Neill's arguments, the ump clearly pointed to the run scoring. So it's 3-1. And with that cushion, Steer pitches around two base runners in the bottom of the 10th. And this fly ball is a winner, winner, more league championship dinner. First outright title in seven years, second in three years. More League Baseball doesn't do anything easy at Blair Field, and this is just another example of that. 3-1 to your champion Rams. What a tough week for Lakewood. They started it thinking they might be playing Milliken for a share of the title tonight. Instead, they go into the playoffs as the three seed. Wilson will be second place. Thanks as always to all of our sponsors, including Long Beach Transit, who has stops on Route 1 at CSU Dominguez Hills, South Bay Pavilion, and the StubHub Center. Those CIF playoff brackets will be out on Monday, and you're going to find out where your favorite team is playing right here at gazettesports.com and the Press-Telegram.